temporary and lasting environment changes. Your bash environment consists of certain settings that will affect how bash runs and how executables run within bash. These settings include environment variables such as path as well as aliases. Let's look at the aliases in my environment. Now let's add a new alias. We've just added a new alias called a firm, which echoes the following statement. We can see our new alias has been added to the environment. And when we try out our alias, it works. Now usually when we create an alias, it's because we have a command or a set of commands that we don't want to type out each time, but which are useful enough that we would probably use them often. So it's inconvenient that if we set an alias and then log out of our bash session, we will lose that alias. Let me show you. I logged out and logged back in, and now my alias called Affirm is nowhere to be found. To understand what's going on, recall that whenever Bash loads up, it uses certain files to define the environment. A couple of these are bash rc, profile, and then you may find one called bash profile. They're typically hidden files and you'll find them in your home directory. Bash uses these to define the environment upon each login. Therefore, if you want to have an alias defined or a path variable set or make any other lasting environment changes, these are the files in which those changes should be made. So let's modify bash rc using the vi text editor. Inside bash rc, you'll find various settings that have already been made. If you scroll down far enough, you'll find that in my file, certain settings, certain aliases have already been defined. These are aliases 
which come from the command ls. Let's add another alias now. I forgot to add echo. Now, that should do it. We'll save our bash RC. Now, notice our alias does not work yet. It's not even given in the list of aliases. The bash RC will only be read when bash starts up. So we need to once again exit and re enter. And there you have it. Our alias works, and we did not have to define it after we entered the session of bash. Because the alias was defined in the bash RC, when bash loaded up, it got the alias information from the bash RC. If you did something like define an environment variable inside the bash RC, bash would have picked up on that as well. A word of caution when using the bash RC. It's wise to modify the bash RC only if you know exactly what you're doing. Because bash depends on files like the bash RC to define the environment, you may end up with some unexpected circumstances if you change something that you don't intend to change. So use caution but at the same time, have fun in defining your environment.